Okay, velocity calculations for uh, low loss headers, distribution headers, and mains. Um, now this calculation is a simplified calculation and it makes the assumption that water moves as, I guess as a solid really, um, doesn't take into account things like laminar flow and turbulent flow and Reynolds numbers. It's a very quick, easy calculation to use for domestic heating engineers for smaller systems and um, doesn't go into the complexities that uh, you might need to go into as a commercial engineer. Um, but anyway, very useful. So basically the formula is the internal diameter of the tube is two times the square root 1000 divided by pi divided by the target velocity, that's the velocity that you actually want within the tube, times the litres per second or the flow required within the tube. So for low loss headers, uh, the rule generally is you want a velocity below 0.3 metres per second, a distribution header below 0.5 metres per second, and in the mains between 0.5 and 1.5 with an ideal of 0.9 meters per second. And um, the, these figures are different from different sources. These are the ones that I've chosen to go with. This is from Sibsi. Can't remember where this one came from. And this one is a kind of average of several different sources. And um, I've, I've seen some claiming below 0.1 meters per second. So, but um, yeah, so if you want to know what diameter your low loss header should be, if you put target velocity 0.3 meters per second, your flow in meters per second, this is actually a constant uh, and square root the answer, multiply it by two and it will give you the internal diameter. So I hope that helps.